This is your esophagus. Yes, that seemingly simple 25 centimeter tube, which provides our swallowed food with a pathway allowing it to reach the stomach. Well, believe it or not, the esophagus is not just a simple piece of tube or a length of plain old garden hose connecting one organ to another. Behind its somewhat ordinary facade, it's actually got quite a complex makeup. You see, when we swallow food, it doesn't just simply fall down into our stomach. Our esophagus actually pushes it down. Even if we were to eat upside down, our esophagus always ensures our lunch makes it to where it needs to go. How can this be? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you're up for a non-spidey adventure, we'll find our answer by looking at this simple organ at the microscopic level. Yep, that's right. It's time to explore the histology of the esophagus. So to begin this tutorial, we're going to start by our reminding ourselves what is the esophagus anyway? Well, to answer this question, we'll first refresh our memories about the gross anatomy of the esophagus. Following this, we'll whiz through a quick recap on the basics of histology and correlate this with the tissue layers found within the esophagus at a histological level. Finally, to conclude, we'll discuss some of the relevant pathologies or clinical conditions which may manifest in the esophagus, taking a look at how these problems may be visualised at a microscopic level. And when you've completed all of that with a good level of understanding, you'll be a true master of this sometimes overlooked region. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. To begin, let's remind ourselves about the basics of esophageal anatomy and its position within the body. As a whole, the esophagus is basically a long fibromuscular tube measuring around about 25 to 30 centimetres in length. It extends from the bottom of the pharynx at the level of the cricoid cartilage to the cardiac opening of the stomach, shown here. It forms the third part of the alimentary canal and is also divided up into three divisions. The cervical part, which runs from the laryngopharynx to the thoracic inlet, formed by the first ribs. The thoracic part, which extends from the thoracic inlet to the esophageal hiatus of the respiratory diaphragm. And finally, the abdominal part, which is only one to two centimetres long and connects with the cardia of the stomach. With that covered, let's quickly move on to discuss the general histology of the gastrointestinal tract, which provides the template for the structure of the esophagus. Although regional specific specialisations exist along the length of the gastrointestinal or digestive tract, the basic layers of its wall remain relatively uniform throughout the majority of its length. The first layer in direct contact with the lumen is the mucosa. This is further divided into the surface epithelium, the lamina propria, and the lamina muscularis mucosae. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.